If he's doing things we don't agree with, like this week he announced he's sending another 4,000 on top of the 17,000 he's already right, right, sending right. to Afghanistan. Now, if, if this was George Bush in office and he was sending 21,000 more troops to Afghanistan, would you be supporting that, most Def? I don't support them sending troops nowhere. I'm like, okay, so you're against Obama on this? I, I'm a, yeah, I'm against him. When he was like, we should kill Osama bin Laden, I was like, whoa, chill, oh, movement on the player, offensive <laughs> chill, calm down. <laughs> Like, chill, uh, can we at least bring him to court or something? I mean, damn, man. go kill this nigga. Chill, relax. <laughs> Yeah. you from reason the American dream only makes sense if you're sleeping it's just a cruel fantasy their politics took my voice away but their music gave it back to me the land where the lump and are consumed by consumption killing themselves to shovel down food in abundance I guess a rapper from Britain is a rare voice America is capitalism on steroids natives kept in casinos and reservations this place slaves never given reparations take everything from Native Americans and wonder why I call it the racist experiment afraid of your melanin the same as it's ever been that ain't gonna change with the race of the president i see imperialism under your skin tone you could call it christopher Columbus. endocrine the eagle ass american the hatchet and the sticks the fascist emblem you could call it conspiracy theory i don't give a motherfuck you could get your motherfuck national security is a cold word for cover up the corners of an apparatus that downgraded my class status from citizen to subhuman savage hard to fathom but even harder to manage i'm a second class citizen in the land of my origin forced to forage in a brutal reality that's the void of humanity for some semblance of sanity where truth is profanity and in all actuality my right to life is considered a travesty we can't even bury funds without the threat or the military showing up to carry out the vendetta a policy of extermination against an indigenous population that's been fighting for emancipation want to end the violence well, then then it's necessary how the fuck you think we're gonna make change voting for Obama, Clinton, McCain, or John Kerry. We got the eight hour day because of strikes, not because you wrote your congressman and got the right. They could give a goddamn if you're polite, but hit them in the pockets and they'll meet with you tonight. What's, what's happening right now? Is, is there something... Um, the groundswell. Uh, something's bubbling. Something's bubbling. Something coming. It's, it's something more than, than just uh, regular I hope politics. so. I hope you're right. But see, the problem is, here's the problem, my brother. It will always be met with resistance. Mm -hmm. See, there's an old saying. It is not the people that should be scared of the government. Mm -hmm. It is the government that should be scared of the people. If we ever really rise up, they have no chance. Mm -hmm. But the average person, say in Europe, they're happy watching football, mm -hmm. soccer. Mm -hmm. They're happy, you know? Shopping. And, exactly, and same in the state. Football, basketball, baseball, yeah. drugs, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know, I have a drink, and it's, I'm, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but fear and consumption. They scare you, and that makes you consume. You get scared, what do you do? You go shopping, you go to McDonald's, you go to... So they put the fear of God into you. 
God. So their God. Their God. And what is that God? You know what I'm saying? Like Maybe we right, correct. <laughs> we knock down the towers. You know what I'm saying? Um, we knock down the Oklahoma City that we were responsible for that. These things people have a hard time understanding that. So people like us, we sound crazy. Mm -hmm. We're not the crazy ones. Yeah. They're the crazy ones. It's crazy to believe that, I say this a lot, mm -hmm. you can edit it if you want, you know, I know I talk too much. <laughs> say you say, um, say we believe in aliens, right? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But Jesus parting the Red Sea, that's not crazy. <laughs> yeah. Or with Moses parting the Red Sea, yeah. that's not crazy. Jesus walking on water, not crazy. Uh -huh. Aliens, crazy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Alien technology, crazy. Guy makes fish and bread from a million, uh, makes one piece of bread, one piece of fish, a million loaves, uh -huh. not crazy. But it's the indoctrination. Indoctrination. Exactly. What's crazy and what's not. They exactly. Decide. They, decide. they decide, and when you say some shit, Oh, that's crazy. I'm like, you think that's crazy? Look at the shift. As soon as the buildings went down, they, they instituted the Patriot Act. Yeah. They could do anything they want. Come in your crib, tap your phone, anything. If you're terrorist, they feel you, that, that you're, you're on the terrorist list. I'm on the terrorist list. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so fuck that. We need to rise up, though. Aren't, aren't you, uh, let's hook on up, up on this, uh, aren't you afraid like that? that they could kill you, like sure. maybe they did with Tupac Shakur? Absolutely. But, if you live your life scared, and I'm not saying I'm not scared, I'm not saying I'm not scared, I'm not being macho, of course I have fear. But, to live my life uh, as a lie would be worse of course. than to, to die you know what I'm saying? It's it's uh, it's you you mentioned Pop. It's like you know he 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 said he was you know quoting Machiavelli. It's it's uh, a hero dies once, a coward dies a thousand deaths. I'm not a coward. Never have been. Never will be. I'll fight fifty motherfuckers if I have to. I'll get beat, but I'll fight. I like that. You know, doesn't mean I win. I'm, I don't say I could beat fifty people. Can't beat a hundred, can't beat a million, can't beat a thousand. Some of y'all are getting knocked the fuck out though, I'll tell you that. I'm not going down like a bitch. I'm not a coward. Yes. Blast me, but never ask me to live a lot. Am I wrong? Cause I wanna get it on till I go. And I'm worldwide. Niggas gossip like girls, they hide. No offense denies, but this whole fucking world is mine. Even if you blind, you can still see my prophecy. My destiny to overthrow those on top of me. Being if I come and see the money, be calling, can you feel me? Dreaming, seeing things in me, brother. It's too bitch made niggas and that bullshit you going through. Outlaw busting while we rushing in your judgment. If I know that in this hotel room they have food every day and I'm knocking on the door every day to eat and they tell and they open the door, let me see the, the party, let me see like them throwing salami all over the I mean just like throwing food around where they're telling me there's no food in here. You know what I'm saying? Every day. I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in. You know what I'm saying? We are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. After about a week, that song is gonna change the we hungry, we need some food. After two, three weeks, it's like, you know, give me a little food and we're breaking out the door. And after a year, and you just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm picking the lock, coming through the door, blasting, you know what I'm saying? It's like you hungry, you reached your level, you don't want anymore. We asked 10 years ago. We was asking with the Panthers. We was asking with them, you know, it's civil rights movement. We was asking, you know, now that those people that were asking, they're all dead and in jail. So now what do you think we're gonna do? Ask.
he said too much crazy shit, though. <laughs> and when he said the crazy shit, they were like, oh, this motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> He was like, I'm going to eliminate the CIA, I'm going to eliminate the FBI, I'm going to eliminate the federal banks. And they were like, whoa, whoa, this guy's fucking crazy. You know what I mean? So it's all a system, man. Obama's the third boy, the third cousin of Bush. He's yeah. related to Cheney, which all goes back to the royal family here in Europe. It's like, I said, we are change. I'm like, this ain't fucking change. It's the same guy, different suit. You know what I mean? Different, different color. Exactly. So to think that someone would real, uh, do I know? I don't fucking know. I don't care. Because no one who's a real revolutionary would ever be a president. Ron Paul will sit there and make the most sense rationally. Sit there, explain things thoroughly. You got Bush, Obama, McCain, Palin, stumbling over words, can't even articulate a speech. Ron Paul is articulate. Ron Paul is a doctor, exactly, the teleprompter. Ron Paul is a doctor, he doesn't read from the teleprompter. He gave birth to over 6,000 children. That's awesome. Bright guy. America doesn't want a bright guy. They want someone who seems like it's their stupid next door neighbor running the country. Do you think he has a chance, 2012, Ron Paul? No. I think he can make waves. I think he can make people think. I thought he made people think. You know, in the last election, I think a lot of people were like, yo, this, this guy's kind of cool. But, but the election was a little bit rigged, but there, there were rumors. CNN showed a, a little village that uh, had about 150 activists for Ron Paul. Brother, it's all rigged. And they counted not one, not one vote. Four, no, it's it's all rigged. Whoever they're going to put in, they're going to put in, man. Mm. That's the system. America is based on other people's blood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The whole shit was built on other people's blood in a hard way. Yeah. And these people, exactly, and these people have been handed something, the Rockefellers, the Bilderberg group, the Bavarian women, they, these motherfuckers that don't know that they run shit, that's why we live where we live, because they deny it. When did you learn all this? Know a lot about politics. About I started young, man. I started young. You know, my father Step died real, real young. Um, you know, my mom raised me, and I, I just kind of. I'm from Philadelphia, where the fucking Declaration of Independence was signed. There's a lot of not. There's a lot of brothers with deep knowledge there. Morris Science Temple. You know, Muslim brothers. Uh, no, you know, brothers who built with noble Drew Ali. Yeah, but it's you know. not information which you get from the TV. No, because I never papers. dealt with that, brother. I All never right. dealt with that. We would sit at, um, I don't know if you guys know anything about skateboarding or anything, but mm -hmm. I used to hang out at Love Park. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up with Stevie Williams, Pro Skater, Bam, and all those guys. All I remember right. them from back in the day. All right. All right. Whoever didn't skate, we sat there, we smoked weed, drank talk. 40s, and talked about all, everything we're talking about. This is when I'm 17 years old. Literally, we were talking about alien technology and the Matrix and Valdemar Valerian and like third density and fourth density beings and elevation and, and all of that type of shit. So it's not that I'm smart or something. I just surround myself with people who thought differently. You know what I mean? It doesn't make me intelligent. It makes me think over here. I don't think I'm any smarter than anyone else. I just think differently. That's all. You know. I don't, I don't fall for the okie doke, as we say back in the day. The, the okie doke is like, uh, you know, I don't know how to say it in Swiss German, but the okie doke is like, this, you know, fall for the stupid, you know, the, the, the dancing clown. Yeah. Uh, the okie doke. No, no, that's for dumb people. With no critical thinking. Exactly. Yeah. Critical thinking is imperative. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, that's why I like Ron Paul. And some people go, well, he said this and said that. I said, look, okay. Look, and no one's perfect. You could find a million things about a million people. Mm. This shit you done, you didn't like. You're not proud of. Oh, man. This shit I done, I didn't like. Tons of them. You could, you could sit here and kill me all day. <laughs> but this shit I done. Oh, Ron Paul said this. Da, 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 da. Nah, look, man. It's basic agenda. Once you said, fuck the CIA and fuck the federal banks, I was like, I'm riding with him. I'm with this guy. Let's go. I like him. President, would you work to phase out the IRS? 
<laughs> Immediately. That's <laughs> what they call a softball. And, and you can only do that if you change our ideas about what the role of government ought to be. If you think the government has to take care of us from cradle to grave, and if you think our government should police the world and spend hundreds of billions of dollars on a foreign policy that we cannot manage, uh, you can't get rid of the IRS. But if you want to lower taxes, and if you don't want the government to quit printing the money to come up with shortfall and cause all the inflation, you have to change policy. Get a fist up, yo. I've been thinking about that. Mm. I've been thinking about that. And I'm thinking, I won. Max big one. There's not a lot of us, but we're strong. Mm. So I wonder if we've put the fear in them to where they know that if they do it, we'll know. Mm. You know what I mean by that? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not saying they won't do it. I'm just saying, enough motherfuckers, you watch Loose Change, you watch Z Guys. Enough of us know where we're like, all right. Yeah, don't enough. know how they will react. Exactly. And with that said, will they do it on U.S. soil? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't. Th I think they're too no. smart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hit Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, you would know better than me. The bigger city. Yeah. You know, Paris. Paris. Something. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't thought about what they would. I mean, even, but, but like, even with, like, we just keep going into places where we didn't have, why are we in Afghanistan? The fuck, where did that go? That's, but you know what I mean? They're just all of a sudden, we just go in there, and everyone just goes, okay, that's the American public, right? Yeah. Okay. Why is it anyone going, what the fuck are we doing? What did they do? What are we doing in there? We're back, what did they do? Why are we in there? And everyone just goes like this, right? Yeah, let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> Oh, let's go shopping. Oh, let's go to the movies. Look, man, I'm telling you, fear and consumption. Scare the shit out of you, what you gonna do? You try and get your head off it. But let's I go to see a Will Ferrell it's, movie. It's like in now, now you know, they have to create new fear, something new. Right, fear. that's dying. That's, that's what so what's gonna be the next about. thing to scare us? Would be the Bird thing flu, thing. alien flu, it's all some mad things, cow. Right? It just keep pumping and pumping and pumping it. What is new? What is that's it? Just a bird flu, motherfucker. I ain't know no bird flu. <laughs> I don't know no motherfucker with swine flu. I say it on the end of days, the bird flu was a lie, the swine flu was a lie. Why would that even come as a surprise? Like, what, like, I, I mean, I can't speak for you guys. Do you know anyone who had swine flu? No. Do you? I don't. I'm the, hey, man, <laughs> hey, look, mad cow disease. I, remember that? Yeah. What was that, 10 years ago? I don't know. I know. I didn't know no one no motherfucking mad cow disease. Just scare everyone. Just scary. Scare us, scare us. Oh, you know what? And our parents' generation is taught to be scared. Mm -hmm. They believe that shit. 
You know what I mean? And, I, and I'm talking about my own, but I'm not, I'm not putting my family differently. Mm -hmm. I people in my family to believe that shit. If it's on TV and it is said by a fucking person, it must be real. And I'm like, wow, man. I love you, but I fucking hate you. <laughs> you know? You're, you're, I, I, want, I love you as a family member and I will kill for you. As a person. But, but you, you really believe this fucking shit? Mm -hmm. Why is this interview different than the news on CNN? It isn't. We're three people talking. Camera, two people, talk. Yeah. Why is that different if it's CNN? Two people, camera, talk. The information is the information is way different. What we're saying, yeah. we're all gonna fucking get killed. Yeah. For what we're saying, but that's what it's about. See, it's being filmed. Mm -hmm. So when one of us get taken the fuck out, mm -hmm. it's on tape. Mm -hmm. And they know that we know. Mm -hmm. And when they know that we know, yeah. then it's a fucking problem. Now let's fucking rise up. Now let's do something. I'm only here tonight to express my concern as a citizen and as someone who takes the metro every day to inform all of you that there are many of us in this city who know the truth about what happened on September 11th, what happened in London on 7-7, and that you had better make sure that nothing happens to our city because if an attack happens in the metro, and you try and blame it on Al Qaeda or Iran or whatever you uh, is going to, they're going to try and blame it on. We would need some anger thrown back at me when we say that. When I say die, motherfucker, die, give me some passion, motherfuckers. Die, motherfucker, die. show you the footage that looks cheesy yeah. so that you go, oh, that's fake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So even the conspiracy is a conspiracy within itself. So 
No, Hova has nothing to do with any of that shit. Man. Mm -hmm. He's a Marcy kid. Mm -hmm. Some people, are you guys familiar? I, I, I know it's worldwide, it's global, you know, like we are changed, but are you guys familiar with the Holy Tabernacle, Dr. Malachi Z. York? Uh, no. Okay, check him out. I'll say it slow. Dr. Malachi Z. York. He's actually locked up now. They caught him up for some bullshit. He rebuilt the pyramids mm -hmm. in Eatonton, Georgia. Rebuilt okay. the pyramids mm -hmm. from Egypt. Okay. And brought people there. And was like, yo, we're just gonna get back to Egyptology. Mm -hmm. And they like locked him up. Mm -hmm. Jay and Jazzo. You know Jazzo who Jazzo, the former Correct, uh, correct. Chase e, correct. Mm -hmm. Jay and Jazzo mm -hmm. used to be a product. We're good. We gotta catch our gas. Okay. Yeah. We you Jay and Jazz O, you both used to be with Dr. Malachi York and the Holy Tabernacle, and I came up with those people. Mm -hmm. Do the knowledge on Malachi York. All right. Brother, I'm telling you. Malachi? Malachi mm -hmm. Z. Mm -hmm. York. Hot Jam Entertainment. For the jury of his peers, trying to, trying to, but they know by now that we have all the facts, and they have no evidence. Absolutely. Absolutely. That could have been prevented 
But look, man, it's simple mathematics. They know it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You know what They're I mean? But it, absolutely. It's it, you're looking at shit like what AIDS could look, AIDS was invented in the laboratory in nineteen seventy seven. Crack cocaine was put into the hood by the CIA. These now 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 before when I was saying it, people were, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. Now you can follow that. Just look. Literally, there, there are well, literally well, people well. who will admit to the, like I worked for the CIA. I saw them invent a cheap version of cocaine, and I saw them put it into the hood. Mm. AIDS was created in the laboratory in '77 for two uses. Well, one greater use: the population control but to attack the black community, the Hispanic community, and the gay community, like to take them out for population control. It worked. Crack cocaine, it worked. They went. I'm concerned that your early experiments in taking simian virus 40 in the presence of simian foamy retroviruses uh, and recombining them with cat leukemia and chicken leukemia sarcoma viruses might have given rise to HIV or its relatives following their culture in human tissues and that these mutants could have contaminated some live viral vaccines produced in contaminated monkeys and chimps, supplied to vaccine manufacturers through your affiliates at Lytton Bionetics. Quite frankly, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'll cite your paper, Dr. Gallo. If you can, you, you've, got a paper, you've got a paper that I don't know I ever published. Okay. I'd sure like you to cite it. Would you begin I'd now? be happy to. Well, uh, National Academy of Sciences, 1970, Gallo et al. Uh, it was an oral presentation that you presented before NATO, NATO and NATO audiences in, 19, in Mole, Belgium. You, you published it. It's in the National oh, Academy of Sciences. I'd be happy to show you the okay, paper. Stop, stop. I mean, this is, is beyond asinine. In Mold, Belgium, my first trip to Europe, so I can remember it, a NATO meeting did take place. NATO meetings fund all scientific meetings all over, all over the world, even east-west at that time. Biologic meetings, scientific, chemistry meetings, all kinds of meetings. Meetings about motherhood, fatherhood, everything. And what I talked about in Mold, Belgium, was in the 1960s, long before gene cloning took place, l before I ever worked in virology. What I talked about was cellular transfer RNA. Okay, and this, that's that's well, Mole Belgium. Proceedings in the National Academy of Science, an SB40. I never published a paper in my life, an SB40, except the transfer RNA species in SB40 transformed hamster cells compared to non-transformed cells as a control. You've got pineapples, kiwis, grapes, and cherries mixed in with some other tutti frutti. I don't know what in the hell you're talking about. Uh, and, and excuse me. Okay. Tired of this kind of nonsense okay. crap. And Gallo, Sarin et al. were Lytton Bionetics researchers, were your co-authors in which you combined cat leukemia and chicken sarcoma viruses to, to create, uh, to, yeah, to, to evaluate the okay, leuke oh, sorry, leukemia yes, sarcoma complex all. models. I'm really smart. Yes, we did it. Everything I mean, was created by us working in the laboratory. Look, just for those with some, re some little bit of understanding of this who care about this, uh, kind of idea. I've never, I, I mean, I've had a lot of things said, but I've never had anything quite like that one. There were people who thought and made postulations that, and uh, it was not, not actually directed at me, this is a good one, a new one, but that HIV could have been created in laboratory experiments. <coughs> there are two answers to that that are definitive, conclusive, that no scientist could have deliberately created them unless he was a super genius and 10 years ahead of his time. The AIDS virus definitively existed long before molecular cloning. That's point one. Point two, we know the full sequence, the genome of HIV. It was published by our lab in 1985 and by a group from Paris the same, around the same time. The genome has no homology to any known existing virus in the world, except SIV discovered after it, has nothing to do with cats, has nothing to do with chicken sarcoma viruses. SV40 is a DNA virus that comes from little animals, that can transform cells and culture, has no sequences in HIV. Further, we never worked with SV40 with those viruses together, and if we did, the whole thing would be irrelevant, and I think you need to begin with Biology 101 High School, okay? These documents, including the U.S. government contracts, 
best explain how AIDS emerged on two far removed continents in black Africans and gay New Yorkers by 1978. These were precisely the populations that received the first hepatitis B vaccine. My guns are bigger than the baby's arm With aged arms like I was raised in arm The bullets stay inside your brain like it's your favorite song I don't give a fuck who they hit and they can graze your moms I load the motherfucking clip and they like baby bombs I see it as something beautiful when the metal fly Around the way call me Lucifer, a hell of a guy I'm a motherfucking veteran, I'm telling you why Beat his head until there's red in them, I'm letting them die City of brotherly thugs, the home of filthy pippin You ain't fucking around with any person, guilty Simpson Unless you wanna be the target that we dump the clip in I do the shit during the day, I like the gun to glisten You were backwards, motherfucker, you run the prison You think the big and locked with males in jail a fun position You should kill yourself, rapper, and be stuck in the earth 
to be honest, ain't no rapper that can fuck with you, bro. the cats in the hood with a rep. Hustle through the AM when most men slept In the waistline where the Roscoe's kept I'm on the edge, nigga, watch your step uh, I'm on the edge, nigga, watch your step uh, We here to eat till there's no food left In the waistline where the Roscoe's kept I'm on the edge, nigga, watch your step uh, Fast to slow pace, my flow lace tracks This cat a dope base And don't waste steps and go chase bras to no place Match the streets and press the free Him stress for weeks, hoes left to meet a guest To cheat and test the sheep Ripping shows from here to Britain, yo I'm hitting hoes, skipping those women That sniffing, blowing, not getting dope First degree, murder rhymes Disturb your mind like urban lines The cope, only words are signs The Percy P, images know they can't stand with the pro My Bronx Angeles flow cause damage Just blow scandalous foes, better handle it, yo I'm getting that fool, started clipping black Spitting raps, hitting cats for kicking whack lyrics to bit and track. My interviews say I sent a few lines of diminished crews. Some men to do shit like bend the rules. Go for the killers to finish you. I'm so hot, you got a close shot. You know not to open your spot. When I patrol blocks, you getting no props. All the cats in the hood with a rep. Hustle through the AM when most men slept. In the waistline where the Roscoe's kept. Uh, I'm on the edge, nigga, watch your step. Uh, I'm on the edge, nigga, watch your step. Uh, we here to eat till there's no food left. In the waistline where the Roscoe's kept. I'm on the edge, nigga, watch your step. Guilty Simpson. Damage beyond words, descriptions. Rough verse inscriptions. Broke by.